Hey, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today we're going to learn how to complete the foundation single crochet stitch. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post a new video. So to begin the foundation single crochet stitch, we need to start with a slip knot. So we're going to start, I create my slip knots by going around my index finger, I wrap around, I take this side, I push it down, and then I push it up through the hole where my finger was. If you need to see that move in slower, uh, at a slower pace and in more detail, you can check out the description below where I'm going to post a link to a video for how to slip knot and chain and crochet. So now that I have my slip knot on my hook, I need to begin my foundation single crochet by chaining two. So there's one and two. Now what I need to do is I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go right back here into this very first chain and I'm going to place my hook in there. Now the key is I want to make sure two of the legs of that chain are on top of my hook and the other leg is on the bottom. So again that's what it should look like here when we're ready to go. Now I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull through the chain, that leaves me with two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through the first loop, that leaves again two loops on my hook, and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through both, and that completes one foundation single crochet. You may need to tighten your knot just a hair and that's okay as well. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky until you get the hang of this stitch, where to place your subsequent stitches. So here I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go right here and try and pick up just those top two legs of that very first stitch. Now I'm going to make it a little bigger with my hook so we can see where it goes. See this kind of mess in here? We're going above this little bar and below these two. Now these two legs are a little crossed and that's how they're supposed to be. So there's this little tiny hole here, hopefully you can see, that I'm going to put my hook into. The key is to make sure you only have two legs on your hook. If you have any more than that, you're in the wrong spot. So once you find the right spot, it's the same as the first one. You're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch. We're left with two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. And that completes the second foundation single crochet. So now for this next one, again, we're going to go right in between here, right above this little spot here and below those two. So I'll put my hook in here to make it a little bigger so you can see. So we're going right in here. We're going above this bar and below those two, right into this spot right here. Again, making sure I only have two legs. If I have any more than that on my hook, besides my loop, so you should have three if you look at it, um, you're in the wrong spot. So we're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch. We're left with two loops. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop, then yarn over, pull through both loops. And we're just going to continue doing this across or however many times our pattern calls for. And you can see how it's starting to develop here. This is kind of a side view here. This is what the bottom of the foundation single crochet looks like. And this is why I love this stitch because it gives just a nicer look, a nicer bottom edge to my crocheted projects. And then this is the top of my foundation single crochet. So we're just going to continue again. You'll get the hang of where to put your hook. It just takes some practice. We're going above this bar, picking up these two legs only. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. I kind of think of it as a three-step stitch. Uh, this is what I, because you yarn over three times. So you're going to go into your stitch. There's one, two, three. So I will oftentimes count that to myself as I'm doing this foundation single crochet to make sure I've completed, completely completed the stitch. Because it is one where if you don't do all three of those yarn over and pull through movements, then you are messed up. So again, we're going to place it right here just picking up those top two legs so you can kind of see from the side what that looks like. One, two, three. And if you look here, after I pull the yarn through the first one, 
you can see better that hole that, that, that your hook would be going into when you're placing it. So hopefully you can see that. Two, three. And you're just going to keep doing that however many times your pattern calls for. So that's what it looks like on the side there. There's the top and there's the bottom. And that's how you make the foundation single crochet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a blessed day.